Welcome back to another video. Today, we have an exciting topic for those of you eager to get your hands on Windows 11 23H2, even if your hardware isn't officially supported. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to dive into the world of installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. But before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our tech updates. Let's get started. This video is brought to you by MultiCloud, a specialized service designed for seamless data transfer across various cloud platforms. With MultiCloud, you can effortlessly move files between cloud drives without the hassle of downloading and uploading anew. Whether you wish to maintain complete synchronization between two cloud drives or execute backup and restore operations, MultiCloud has you covered. It enables you to efficiently backup files and emails from one drive and restore them effortlessly to another. Check the link in the video description and enjoy a huge 70% discount for Christmas 2023. Get your subscription today! There are currently three ways to install Windows 11 23H2. All of them are easy, but the last one coming in this video is amazing. Stick around with this step-by-step -step guide on how to install Windows 11 version 23H2. Now let's check if this system is supported for Windows 11 23H2. You can run the command winver to get to the about window fast. Also, as you see, this system is a Gen 4 i3 which is not listed in the supported processors for Windows 11 23H2. Run the PC Help Check tool to verify. Click this button here. There it is. This PC is not supported for Windows 11 23H2. Nevertheless, we will install 23H2 version. The first way to install Windows 11 23H2 is to perform a clean install of the operating system. To do that, you are going to need the ISO file and a bootable USB drive. Open a browser window and look for Windows 11 Download. Go to the section, Download Windows 11 Disk Image. Choose the product language you want and finally download the ISO file. I have already downloaded the file. For my bootable USB solution, I will use Vintoe. Check this video about it and I promise you that you will never use another bootable USB solution ever again. Okay, now that we are ready to begin, go ahead and restart your computer. You also need to unplug the device from the network. The reason for that is going to be explained a bit later in the video. So, enter the boot menu and select your bootable USB. Start the new Windows installation normally. Select the language you want to use and then select the version. Choose the second option here and select your system drive. For this system, it is drive zero. Click next and the installation will start. Wait a bit as the operating system is being installed. Now, select your region and keyboard layout. Remember that part where you had to unplug the device from the network? Now is the time to use it. Click, I don't have internet, and then continue with limited setup. What this does is to enable the offline account creation option. Otherwise you will have to go with a Microsoft online account. Create your username and enable any privacy setting you might want. Wait a bit as the device is getting ready. Now, if you check which version of Windows is installed, you will see that Windows 11 23H2 is installed. This is the classic way to install any version of Windows. And also, the classic way to keep up with our videos is to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The second way to install Windows 11 23H2 version is considered to be an upgrade and not a clean install like the previous one. We will use the ISO file again. After you have downloaded the file, right-click on it and select Mount. This will create a new drive. Check the drive letter. In this case it's D. Open a new command prompt window as administrator. Type D to switch to drive D root directory. Now type CD sources and execute this command. Don't line the word server as the version that will be installed will be Windows 11 23H2. This wizard will appear on your screen. Trust me and don't worry, no server version will be installed. 
Ignore the heading here and let it do its job. Nice. The computer is back online. As you see, no server operating system installed and we are currently using the 23H2 version on this unsupported device. Easy and clean procedure as easy it is for you to subscribe to our channel. Now for the last and easiest way to install Windows 11 23H2. You have to use a separate update file. The KB5027397 update. Normally, if your device was supported, this update would have been installed through the Windows Update Service, but in this case, we have to install it manually. Have a look around the internet to find the official update. I have already downloaded it. Make sure your device is updated with all the latest updates and have the KB5031455 update installed which is a requirement for KB5027397. If your computer is updated with all the latest updates, chances are that you already have downloaded the 23H2 version but it is not enabled. This is why KB5027397 is called the enablement package as you see here in the official Microsoft site. So, after you have found the file just click install. Now restart your computer and check the Windows version installed. You should see that Windows 11 23H2 is there. Easy enough? I think it has never been easier to install a new version of Windows. And there you have it. Congratulations on successfully installing Windows 11 23H2 on your unsupported hardware. We hope this guide has been helpful in getting your system up and running with the latest features and improvements. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder. While this workaround allows you to experience Windows 11 on hardware that might not officially meet the requirements, keep in mind that Microsoft's specifications are in place for a reason. Some features may not work optimally, and you might encounter occasional issues. If you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and until next time, happy computing!